Assalamualaikum anda bersama dengan saya Nurul Hana Ismail dan anda sedang menyaksikan Business Alternatif. Satu lagi inovasi perubatan dan kemajuan di mana ialah hasil kerjasama Institut Jantung Negara serta St. Jude Medical yang mana satu peranti serta sistem telah dihasilkan bagi memantau pesakit jantung berisiko 24 jam sehari, 7 hari seminggu. Dan bersama-sama dengan saya untuk bercakap tentang sistem ini ialah Datuk Dr. Raz- Razali Umar, konsultan kardiologis dan juga elektrofizologis dari Institut Jantung Negara IJN. Terima kasih banyak-banyak Dr. Thank you so much for being with us. All right, now My let's pleasure. talk about this um, pacemaker and also Merlin.net. Um, what does it do? What does the system do actually? Right, so thank you for the uh, question. Um, right. So usually uh, when a patient needs a device, mm-hmm. we call it an implantable device okay. because it's a little like a battery okay. that's implanted in the patient's chest okay. with a wire which is connected to the heart. So this is for several reasons. Number one, the commonest reason why a patient needs a device is because his heartbeat is too slow. So when the heartbeat is too slow, he's feeling giddy, they may even fall down. You mean those with irregular heartbeats? Those with not really irregular, but can be regular but slow. Usually our heartbeat, like for example now, I'm sure Hana, your heartbeat is not 90 beats per minute because you're on the show. Yeah. Yeah. For me, so it's quite, about 60. Okay. <laughs> quite nervous. Quite nervous. Actually. Yeah. So, so, and this is regulated by our whole body. Okay. For some patients, the heartbeat remains at 30 all the time. So they are okay when they're sleeping, but the minute they get up mm-hmm. to do something, the body is not receiving enough oxygen because the heart is only pumping at 30. And well, then they will fail. Quite risky, quite yes, risky. so that's why I showed the picture just now where patient fall down, bruises and yeah, all that. Yeah. So for that, we implant a device. Okay. That device is called a permanent pacemaker system. Okay. That's the majority of our patients in IGN have that device. Now hold on, about, about this pacemaker that is implanted in the in the heart, um, is, is there any side effects or what are the risks of infections? Well, that's a good question because okay. uh, in, in any procedure that we do, infection is something that we always fear. Okay. So, I mean, uh, 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 there are uh, cases of infection, yeah. uh, but luckily, extremely rare. Okay. Those who get infection usually are the elderly, those with uncontrolled diabetes, those with renal failure. So, they did not worry? Sorry? The patients did not worry about this procedure. It's safe? Yeah, inshallah. I mean, uh, usually 99% it is safe. It is like one hour. It's done under local anesthesia and a bit of sedation. So, the patient is not under fully general anesthesia. Mm-hmm. And he, the next day, he goes home. Right, okay. That's it. So it's a small little incision yeah. and the battery lasts there for 10 years. Now, usually mm-hmm. after this, the patient okay. will have to come and see me in the clinic okay. regularly. Mm-hmm. And this device, oh, we have not talked about this device yet. Yeah, no? so, not yet. Okay, so okay. I, was, I was like, I was actually, um, I wanted to know how does this connect the dots? You have the device implanted in your heart. Yes. And how does this connect to the system, Merlin.net? Okay, so, Maybe you can, right. so before we yeah. talk about Merlin.net, yes, yes, yes. We talk about the usual thing that the patient has to go for, which means after I implant the device. Let's say I implant the device in you, Hana. Okay. So after you go home, mm-hmm. then I will tell you to make scheduled visits to see me. If everything is fine, you will come and see me maybe three or four times a year for the first one year. Then subsequently, everything is okay twice a year. If something goes wrong, then you come and make an unscheduled visit. Mm-hmm. That's the normal way. But that means that you can be staying in Miri, you can be staying in Alosta, and you have to make all the trips. That difficult tri- for me, right? Yes. I, I mean, you're a busy girl. And just to, uh, just, just you to tell me uh, for, for five minutes, oh, you're okay, Fine. you can go back. Exactly. That's exactly. And, and if you are coming alone, it's not too bad. Imagine if you have your, your father or yeah. your grandfather, and you have to take leave from your job mm-hmm. to go all the way back to Kampong, bring your grandfather to see us and then send him back. So it takes more than just the patient, sometimes it involves the whole family. So how does this Merlin.net come in handy? Right, so what we have introduced uh, in Malaysia is that the ability for the patient Mm -hmm. to stay where he is, it can be anywhere in the country. And and it it, it is as if he comes to see me. This Merlin.net, this device that the patient will bring with him, Mm-hmm. Shall we show the device? Yeah, sure. This device that the patient brings home with him mm-hmm. will be very close to his body. Mm-hmm. Usually, we advise it to be in his bedroom. And we can program it at 2 o'clock in the morning. It's as if he, he's seeing me. Because this yeah. device will then send a signal mm-hmm. to the pacemaker in his body whilst he's asleep. And talk to the pacemaker, what's happening, man? Is there anything wrong with you today? 
If he says nothing wrong, so no, nothing is sent to me. He said, yes, at 2 p.m. just now, this guy had a very fast heartbeat. I had to do something to save his life. That message is then sent through this device to US, very secure server, and then that server sent a message to me. So we alert promptly. Yes. Now that is wow. All right, okay, doctor, we'll be taking a short break. We'll be talking more about this device and Merlin.net. Selepas ini di Facebook Alternative, jangan ke mana-mana. Bertemu kembali di Business Alternatif, saya bersama dengan Datuk Dr. Azali yang mana kita membincangkan tentang suatu sistem yang mana mereka boleh memantau keadaan pesakit jantung yang berisiko dengan menggunakan alatan yang mana mereka uh, please mereka dan juga Merlin.net. Right, just now we talk about um, the system in general. Okay, um, what, are, what, how is this going to benefit the patients? Well, it benefits the patient in many ways. Okay. Firstly, as we spoke just now, just right. before the break, that the patient doesn't have to physically come to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So that's a huge advantage okay. and gives the patient peace of mind, good quality of life and again I said the, all the family members surrounding him yeah. have that, uh, have that uh, freedom. Now, more important than that, just, just uh, for the convenience of the patient and for the lessening of the crowding in the hospital, but more important than that, this allows us to pick up things that the patient may not feel but may be dangerous for him. For example, there's a condition called atrial fibrillation, irregular heartbeat, mm -hmm. that can occur with patient, uh, 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 in patients with this device. Not because of the device, but because of the disease itself as it progresses. Mm -hmm. Now, this can cause stroke. Sometimes, patient doesn't feel this at all. Mm -hmm. So, if he comes to see me twice a year, it may be for the last six months that he's been having this without knowing it, and he's at risk for stroke. Okay. But once the device detects atrial fibrillation, it's irregular heartbeat, it will send an alert to me and I will call the patient and immediately institute the proper treatment to prevent stroke. Now, you mentioned about alert. How prompt will your staff uh, monitor and how frequent is this monitoring and how prompt are you going to alert the patient? There are several ways that the device can alert. Okay. One way is that it will send an SMS to my phone. Okay. Or to directly whoever, to your directly phone. to my phone, okay. or to whoever I designate. Two, it can send a, a message via email, mm -hmm. or it can even send a phone call by the automated. This is your machine. Uh, please, you know, the, uh, that just to tell me alert. So it's either SMS, mm -hmm. phone call, or uh, email. What what we have done in Malaysia is that we ask to go via email, and I have my staff who will view this email every morning when they come to the to the uh, to the hospital. About 9 o'clock, they will look at all the uh, alerts that has been sent overnight. Only in the morning? Yeah, yeah only in the morning. <laughs> okay. And this is done five days a week only. And we, uh, and we inform the patient this. Okay. Because this is just starting out in Malaysia. I don't okay. have enough staff. Later on, we will have a call centre, then we can be 24-7. But for the moment, five days a week, kalau ada public holiday kat Malaysia panjang-panjang ni, uh, then there right. is a lot of days that are not seen, unfortunately. Okay, all right. Um, how durable is this system? The maintenance is easy to maintain there's and no, how efficient? There's no maintenance. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maintenance free? Maintenance free. I mean, unless it drops, then it rolls out, then we give you another one. Right. Or you buy another one. Okay. One of the drawbacks I could think of, possibly internet access. Say they don't have internet access, suddenly there's no line. This is not via internet at the moment, it's via land, landline. Oh, okay. Landline for the moment, but they are introducing in the next couple of months mm -hmm. via the internet. But for the moment, that's why I said, nowadays, uh, some people actually don't have landline anymore, isn't mm -hmm. it? Eh? So if you don't have a landline phone in your house, then you can't use this device for the moment. But inshallah, in the next couple of months, it's already been approved. To more waiting for necessary uh, regulatory uh, about even your response, we will have it via the Wi-Fi and, and, and internet. All right. Last but not least, who are the potential patients that, you know, that can use the system? Yeah. I mean, ideally, it should be for all patients, ideally. But we are realistic because this is a bit more expensive than the usual thing. Okay. So I think for the moment, I'm very selective. I um, advise for patients who are staying far away, okay. who find it difficult to come for, to see me. For, but those patients that have other 
other problems because th then they will have to come to see me anyway. Mm -hmm. But for those patients whose only problem is the pacemaker, then he doesn't need any medication, then there's no need for him to come and see me. I think for this group of patients who are far away, who is generally well, no other medical problem that need them to see the doctor just to check the pacemaker, these are the ones who benefit most from this technology. Right, Doctor, thank you so much for your time. And this is indeed a cutting edge technology. And I'm sure this will actually help and benefit a lot of people out there. Right, Mr. Dari, to Sajjama, kita ada di Business Alternative. Sebelum saya akhirnya, kata kita lihat audio kod ini.